<laughs> John, John, it spins. So be careful. Hang on tight, that's all. Full send. There you go. <laughs> Hi guys, don't out here. I'm I'm with Frank, a premier body armor. Wait, right right there. Frank. Hey guys. I'm with Steve too. What's up? With uh with point blank range and Matthews. And there's wine operator back there. Uh, yeah. uh Frank invited us out to hang out and shoot some guns and just check out his property. He's already pulling out the good stuff. Look at that. Got a little Barrett there. Got a little Rattler there. 300 Blackout. And got a little Maxim right there. John, what do you think? I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> nah, it's a cool piece of property Frank has out here. Here's, here's uh, his rifle range right here, and then there's a pistol range over here beside this. Right. Guys, check out this cool guitar over here. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> That's super neat. Yeah. NCX. Is it Antonio Easy grips on that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Desper yeah. Uh, Desperado? Yeah, Desperado. Yeah. 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 MCX. Check this out. Super cool. Remember the vlog I did in Texas? I was like, everybody has a Humvee but me. Oh, yeah. And it's true. Everybody has a Humvee but me. Hey, look at that. We built this vehicle from scratch. It was a vehicle we built, engineered for US SOCOM on a contract yeah. fitting a V-22 helicopter. And we did not win, mm -hmm. but we actually went through the entire process of building the vehicle. And so it's one of a, one of a kind. Yeah. Uh, it's actually really cool. and shows some real cool features of it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Frank used to on a factory that created armored vehicles and you did a lot of stuff for the Department of Defense. What are the um what are the hydraulics underneath the seats? <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 had this, this, we had this real high-end engineers build this vehicle, so yeah. I don't... Yeah. I can't even know what all the different... Do you want to stand on it? Yep. Yeah, stick your head stand up here. on it, bud. There we go. Then you can yeah. grab it. There we go. That's the idea. It's fake. Yeah. John, do you know what that is? Machine gun. No, it's a fully automatic grenade launcher. Yeah. That's a, that's a mean machine, but man. But it can't shoot? No, it can't shoot, buddy. That's a, that's, that's a tractor. <laughs> John's like, what is that? Well, John. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> I'm, the, I'm like one of those boys that sits at QT. Oh, God. He says, I'm like one of them boys that sits at QT. <laughs> <laughs> so some of the features on oh, it. Yeah, I see the glass you? now. Holy yeah. crap. Yeah, I'll show you some of the features. Look at that. Uh, this is the glass right here. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, wow. Look how thick that is. So it'll stop your 556 five, rounds. Yeah. AKA 308, all these. We completely took everything out of it. Mm -hmm. We bulletproof the floor, the roof, the A pillar, B pillar, C pillar. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. And then, so. Something very cool that we do that other people do not do is mm -hmm. bullet channels. So, so you can have a projectile coming at an angle, a real acute angle, and it might actually get through the side of the glass, uh -huh. but it'll be stopped by this channel. Oh, so we cool. have a bullet channel that comes into the side. They'll stop the bullet. Yeah. Most armor companies do not do that. Yeah, but they we just don't do that anymore. We wouldn't build these vehicles anymore. But when we did. Uh -huh. That's so cool, well, man. some really cool things that, uh, uh, you know, other companies did not do. Our grill protection. Uh -huh. We actually protected the grill. We had a process that we protected the grill. You might be able to see it through here. Oh, yeah. It's like a, is that like a steel plate exactly. or something right there? So we have two steel oh, plates. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's a two steel, steel plate that right are here. a little bit offset from each other. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Allow the yeah. air to come through, but then you can still... You know, I mean, yeah. you're not gonna get It'll shot. Still work. Yeah, exactly. yeah, you can see it right here. There's the first steel plate yes. right here, and then behind it is another steel plate. That's something we did. We felt like if they kill your radiator, you're dead. Yeah, absolutely. Dead in the water. It's like uh, one shot through the engine block, just so, like Black Hawk Down. 
Correct. You know, the hardest thing in these armored vehicles mm -hmm. is making the vehicle look like it's a civilian regular vehicle that does not catch any attention. Like that? Exactly. <laughs> no, so this truck doesn't catch anybody's attention on the fact that, oh, wow, it's nice, it looks good, but nobody knows that it's armored. That's so and that's cool. really where the trick is, being able, and we, we accomplish that. We mm -hmm. accomplish that in our business, you know, uh, uh, when we used to do that. Yeah, do you miss it? Are you glad? You know, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, uh, I miss the military business because, listen, we worked during the Iraq war and then Afghanistan. We worked 24-7 around the clock, December 24th, 25th, January 1st. We never stopped knowing that our American war fighters we're going to be saved by riding in one of our vehicles. That's so cool, In that man. case, they were not riding in these vehicles. They were riding on our MRAPs. Yeah. And our MATVs, the V-shaped hull vehicles when these IEDs kept going off, man, and killing our American soldiers. Okay. So, so that was very cool. That's so we awesome. went from that side of the business to more of a civilian type side of the business uh, in armoring. And then, of course... And we went to what Premier Body Armor is today under, you know, mainly soft body armor and then yeah. hard plates and stuff like that. Oh, this is an armored one too? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was like, oh, someone just drove their Jeep up here. Yeah. So, you know, having those Hemi V8 engines on it, yeah. mm -hmm. you're able to actually get away with adding some weight to it and not killing the performance of the vehicle. Yeah. You know, so we do... Oh, that door's heavy. upgrades. Is it? Yeah, open that. You know, we do. Holy crap. Whoa. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's got that glass too, Here's just a, like the truck. This gives you a really good idea of what the capsule concept is like. So, wow. here, this area right here is not armored, but the the, the capsule, oh, you know, gotcha. where, where, the, where, where the riders are in is everything that, you know, where people are is armored. Yeah. And then you have the B7 over here that has even thicker glass for the capsule. Holy and shit. A huge ass hinge. So, this is a one of a kind vehicle. They're, you know. Yeah. The president even, isn't even rolling around in B7. Try opening the door. It's, when, you, when it's on, there's a hydraulic system in there that yeah. assists in opening the door. But it's not on the <laughs> Holy right crap. <laughs> but that is the most armored vehicle <laughs> in the world. <laughs> you can barely move it. They said this is a one of a kind prototype. Nobody nobody has this. Five miles to the gallon. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a hard vehicle. Uh, oh, yeah. He said it can stop 50 cal. Did you say this yes, one can stop 50 yes, cal? Sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Dude, look how, you, I don't know if you can see it from here. The glass is this thick. This weighs 12,000 pounds. What, what kind of engine's in this, Frank? No, same, it's the same, it's a, you know, uh, it's a Chevy engine on it, but we did all kinds of work to it. So you guys just kind of played around to find like the right combination of stuff. That's so cool. In the suspension, the transmission, I mean, uh, shocks, everything was upgraded. 12,000 pounds. Yeah. That's a lot, man. That's, that is a it lot. It even has Six AC. Tons. Six Whoa. tons. Six yeah. tons, man. This is Frank's old company, Ultra Armory, but he sold it a while back. And he does the body armor stuff now. Yeah. But he used to make the most armored vehicles in the world, as you can see. So cool, man. Holy Crazy. crap. That's a, win that's a windshield that is inside that uh, B7 truck. <laughs> that is an expensive piece of glass. <laughs> Yeah. But we can shoot. We can shoot one of these. Oh yeah, yeah. that's what we have up there. Yeah. So they already moved a couple of pieces. Okay, cool. They moved some of these up here onto the range. Some of those windshields that Frank was showing us down there is now. You might not be able to see it. Let me zoom in. I can barely see. Look under that target on the tree on the left. See the windshield down there? We are gonna shoot that with. This guy. Woo! The scope is just there for look, Steve. No shit. <laughs> Am I really winging it? You're winging it. <laughs> All right. Kind of low. To the left. I'm eyeballing this thing. <laughs> yeah, <all> right. <laughs> wow, you can't shoot something 50 yards away with a Barrett, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Woo! <laughs> four or five feet to the left. Nice. Close. Did you hear the yeah. glass? Safety on. No, it was close. Yeah. It was close. Like four feet to the left. Like... But... That would help. Nailed the glass. Yeah. Yeah. Nailed the glass. Oh, God. Yeah. There you go. All right. 
Here we go, baby. Woo! <laughs> that one surprised me. Yeah, I think Frank likes to drink a little bit. <laughs> Two shots of gin. Oh, oh shit! Oh no! Uh oh, we got some bad bullets. Well, that was like two or three bad bullets in a row. Oh, weird. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> Hey. Yeah. You're hitting it. There we go. You're it. <laughs> <laughs> when I was standing up, I was standing up, I hit right here and right oh, here wow. with the 50. Oh, Look damn. at the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm sorry, Tree. <laughs> that is crazy. Let's see if it went through. Oh, it definitely oh, it absolutely went through. Yeah. For sure. oh, there wow. you go. Yeah. Yeah, it went, it went oh, through that. Not, not rated. <laughs> yeah, that. it's not rated for 50. That person died. Yeah, you did. <laughs> oh, it did. Look at that. It curved the entire glass inward. Look at it. <laughs> this is the one that Kaylee and I and, and uh, a few other people shot. Me and Kaylee hit it with 556, five, and then someone else hit it with 300 blackout. Nothing got through. We hit it multiple times in almost the same spot, too. Feel that. Smooth. Oh, yeah, that didn't do anything Smooth. to it. He would have a hard time okay. driving. <laughs> <laughs> I walk out and I grab something out of my truck and I turn around and Tim from uh, Image 360, they wrap cars and make decals and signs and stuff. He comes out and he's like, hey, I like that color. And uh, I like your truck. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I turn around, look what Tim has right here. But his is the Roush version. It's really, really super cool. Uh, guys, look at Frank's pool. <laughs> look, there's a platform you can jump off right there and a slide. And then there's a beach. Look at the little stone beach. It's 15 feet at the other end too. That's so cool. Oh, dude, look at that giant grill over there into the pavilion. Oh God, Frank. Frank has my dream house. Dude, what? <laughs> Frank, that is so freaking cool, that man. That is awesome, isn't it? He did an awesome job, so man. so neat. There we go. Way to go, Steve. So cool. That's awesome. Dude, thank you so much, guys. That is awesome. There you go, Tim Henderson. Image 360, he's the man. He did nice, a great dude. job. Image 360, check him out, yeah, guys. Image 360 in Gastonia. <laughs> so freaking yeah. cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, John. Let's see it, bud. You can do it. <laughs> dude, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you gotta hold your breath. This place right here, it's so cool because a professional athlete uh, built his dream property on here and then sold it. So we've got the pool right here and we've, it's 130 something acres. Check this out. He's got his own lake right here. And then I don't know if you can see it. There's, oh yeah, right here, golf. There's a, there's a golf course that goes over the lake and through the property. Really, really badass. That's a real slide too, man. John likes jumping off that, huh? That's fun, huh? Do a cannonball. Uh, we got Papa Franku up there. I'm gonna start calling him Papa Franku. <laughs> Go, arf, arf, arf. <laughs> John's a seal, finally. <laughs> These things are so cool. Yeah, it's a uh, Kai blueberry. Acai. Acai, acai. 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 Papa Franku. <laughs> Um, yeah, so they came out with the the second version of their Kevlar bulletproof koozies. You got a place for a patch right there, and here's what's updated on these. See this little metal guy right here? This guy right here is a bottle opener. Oh, nice. Yeah. Made right here in Gastonia. John asked Papa Franco for a snack. He brought a what? Cheetos. So cheddar popcorn. I didn't grab all of it. <laughs> it's a cookie. I'm gonna eat a cookie. He told me he only liked the Cheetos that are the puffy Cheetos. That's why only I the puffy Cheetos. Only puffy Cheetos. <laughs>